you. It's not me. It must have been that guy. You had no proof. It's just like, I think it's the, d- the drop kick. Yeah. yeah. I anyway, can't cut through a tomato all the way. So it's <laughs> yeah. gonna be you. I mean, I mean, I looked at it. And go, yeah. The, why would you leave half a tomato in the fucking vegetable? I cut? understand. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So that's why. That's the only. That's way a I poor use of product. Yeah. I was throwing people on the bus that way. I sni- oh, Not this case of snitching. It was more to clear my name. There was a guy who I used to, when I used to work with. It was suspected to be stealing from the register because the float was always out after a shift. Right. Yeah. And um, it was only me. Me and two other guys who work there. So it's like, it's one, you know, yeah, it's a 33% it's percent chance or whatever sure, it is. Sure. Yep. That's one of us. So he would like the manager interrogating me what I was up to, what I've been doing. Mm. And I was like, well, look, I'm going to, I had to give him like all my alibis and stuff. Like, yeah. it's not me. I guarantee it. Yeah. And then, you know. It's like among us. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was being accused. They're going to kick me out of the store. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I declare my name here. Sucked out into space. Into space. <laughs> space. Yeah. Well, they launched me into space. Damien was not the imposter. <laughs> yes. He was not the thief. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, I like, I think solidar- solidarity among, among workers to a degree. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to take a bullet. Like, yeah, maybe it was me who stole the money. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't right. think that's worth falling on well, that grenade. Then you're going to go to them and be like, hey, bro, just so you know, I took the bullet for you. Yes. Yeah. Now I don't have a job. Can you give me some of yeah. that money? You <laughs> that stole? money that you've been stealing? Yeah. And I think the guy, when he was accused of it, I think this is a sign, a mission of guilt. Like, let's say he took a hundred bucks. He was yeah. like, it's not me. He got really defensive, like straight away, yeah. which is a good way to get kicked out in Among Us, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> defensive straight away. Yeah. Um, He'd be horrible at Among Us. He got. On the defense, he's like, if you want the money, fine. A hundred dollars, even though I didn't take it, take it. And he pulled a, a crisp hundred dollar bill out of his wallet <laughs> and threw it at the manager. Yeah. And it's like, well, it's pretty who the fuck carries a hundred dollar bill? Yeah, right, right, yeah. Right. First off, so it's very like very rare that you've got that in there. Basically, and you just put a mission of guilt. Or something. Yeah, it's and a I mission. think if you didn't do it, you would not be parting with the money that easily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, oh, exactly. right. I don't know. So well then this person here, right? The kebab person. Mm-hmm. Do they owe anyone like an explanation? Like the person, like let's just say the worker that you know. Let's just say after this happens, the person that you know then tried to change the yeah. subject. Did they if, say they were new to the job? Um, I don't think they said that they were new to the job. But either way, if, the, if that person had basically then exiled this person because they didn't do a good job of vouching, yes. is that right? For them, like, how would you feel if you were the person to be like, now that now the crew don't like you because they think you're a, a snitch? Bless you. How mm-hmm. do you come back from that? Yeah, yeah. I think nah, I you could you could that, no. That's a really good point because you don't want to become like the snitch. The, yeah, like the social Ostracized. leper yes. where everybody's scared to talk around yeah. you, and even though you might be like. Uh, a shining light in your manager's eyes, yeah. it might make the rest of your shift hard because everybody d- just yeah. thinks you're a bad dude. And you know what? It all depends on the job it is as well. It's like, are you there for the a good time or a long time? Yeah. What do you want to be there for? Who do you want to be on the side of? Do you want to have like the crew solidarity or do you want to sort of rise through the ranks and be the person that's going to, you know, you might get you know more chance of getting invited out to other places and having fun with the crew. Yeah. And if you lose the crew... You're not yeah, gonna go it hard. depends what the crew is doing. If the yeah. crew is like, but the crew are doing hard drugs. Okay, yeah. 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 doing hard drugs. Do you want to? Do you want to come out with us or not? The uh, gambling, the hard drugs. My, I can get my girlfriend in to do an impression of the crew. Yeah. If you want. She's really good at playing druggies. We in the crew. Um, I, I, I would say this. I go to I go to work to earn money, but if the, one person's making my life much harder, yeah. I don't give a fuck who's who. I'm pissing off. Mm. I'm gonna be like, no. I like I would talk to the person who covered and say. I didn't say anything bad, but yeah. we need to pull that person in. Otherwise, yeah. I will. Maybe I, speak to them first, yeah, I guess, is the something. way to go. I yeah. think the only time I would do this is if I was getting in trouble or accused of something or if it was affecting me. Like my situation. Yeah. I would yeah. just be like, it's not me. No. I'd almost be like, if I'm suddenly then being brought into the spotlight for mm. something I didn't do or yeah. if something is not good enough, I'd be like, I'm the one who's here all the time doing everything exactly as I should. Yeah. Maybe it's the fuck bag who leaves early. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you didn't notice? Yeah. They're never here after this hour. Yeah, exactly. Because that's what this person was doing. They were leaving I early. I definitely did. The, I think I, I, I definitely did the thing where I would maybe vent to other people I work with. Yeah. Or sometimes they vent to me and I'm like, oh, thank God. They feel the same way. Uh-huh. So it's always a good way to gauge, you know, gauge how, pe- the room. how people feel about sure, other sure, sure. people. Mm. I guess that's probably what they should have done first before yeah. they went straight to the that's manager. That's, yeah. But like Tom said, if it's making their life hard and yeah. also putting them in the line of fire, there's probably nothing. I don't think there's anything wrong with going to the manager. Nah. The manager came to the kebab, I think. Yes. Yeah, that's well, if that's the well. case, then so I'm in an awkward position. You don't, you don't mm. need to lie. You don't yeah. need to cover for them. I'm with you on that. And see, just say, uh, I don't know where they are. That's it. And you could get in trouble for lying as well. Yeah. So Good point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let's leave it there for the kebab then. Mm. Now, Damien, what's your food? Uh, 
I guess this is this, this feels like oddly specific now. Uh, but <laughs> you brought the theme, so uh, yeah. strawberry yeah. strawberries on a pizza, yeah. Yeah. peanut butter on a playing card. Yeah. No, uh, stuffed artichokes. Stuffed oh. artichokes. So Are you a big like, fan of them? Man, I I have memories being at my nonna's house when I was a kid. Like seven year old boy just devouring a whole artichoke to yeah. myself. <laughs> it's like who's stuffing who here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and like yeah, you know, they fill them with breadcrumbs and stuff. Mm. And now I couldn't even bring myself to eat like one leaf of oh, stuffed wow. artichoke. I date on them. Yeah. yeah. I had too many. Too much. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had to choke myself out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is, and this is actually, I just made the connection now. This is actually a really fitting name for this uh, question. Great. So stuffed artichoke writes in Thanksgiving disaster. Mm. So I had a baby in September. Both my parents and my in-laws gave us different outfits for Thanksgiving. My parents gave me a cute dress with a turkey on it, but my mother-in-law Gave us a onesie that says, I'm here because mum's turkey got stuffed. <laughs> I actually got rid of it because that's gross. Yep. When we had everyone over for Thanksgiving, my mother-in-law saw that my kid wasn't wearing the shirt and brought it up. Brought it up. I dodged the question, but as a result, she refused to hold my kid because she wasn't wearing the outfit. Mm. Lunch was tense, and then my mother-in-law stood up from the table and demanded to know why she wasn't wearing it. I told her I didn't want to put my two-month-old in a shirt that had sexual innuendo, and looking back at photos of her first holiday, I didn't want that outfit involved. She left immediately. Mm. Now I feel bad because I could have just humoured her for an hour and had my kid wear it. Did I do the right thing? Artichoke. Hmm... The humoring them for an hour is not a bad idea. That is that is the way to go about it. If it's keeping it. the peace. I think I think one of the things I've learned through many years of getting gifts of uh t shirts and clothing that yeah. I don't like is you can always wear it in front of them. Yeah. They'll be happy and that's the only time you wear it. You're like, sweet. Yeah. They I've don't done that see with, you all the time. They're not seeing you all the time. Yeah. You could have put on that stuffed like a turkey t shirt yeah. on yeah. for an hour or two. But I do no think photos. I do think if the mother-in-law, she was obviously looking forward to seeing her yeah, granddaughter, yeah, yeah. her two-year-old granddaughter in this top. Yeah. I guarantee you she would be taking a picture of oh, the yeah. granddaughter with that yeah. and probably pasting it on Facebook, probably tagging the mum yeah, and yeah. everybody in it. Let's think of the aftermath of that. Yeah. There, would be a, there would be a leak from this yeah. turkey. The yeah. turkey would be leaking, Marcus. <laughs> Leaky turkey. Yes. I think I've seen something similar because Thanksgiving was recently. There was like a, a couple and one of them was pregnant. It was like there was a pregnant woman wearing a T-shirt that says... Um, I've got a turkey in the oven or something like that. Mm. And then the man was wearing a t-shirt that said, like, I made the stuffing or something like that. <laughs> and it's like, is gross. that really what you want That's to be gross. wearing when yeah. you're going to family, like, Thanksgiving to be like, yeah. I'm thankful for, for for getting stuffing in there. Yeah. I mean, there's one question I've got to ask is, where is the husband in all of this? Where is mm. the partner? So where I, is cut the... a, I cut a part out because there was quite a long question. Okay. And they said that the fiancé supported... Her decision, yeah, to right. not put the kid in it, not, okay. to not put the kid in it. Yes, that's yeah, all right. Then, then he needs, needs to step involved. Say, "Mum, that was a disgusting thing." Yeah, I don't. I look. She, that's that's what he's there for. Yeah. He is the connection between the two families. Yeah. The, this is the thing as well, right? Because you're, you know, you're the parent. So mm. when your parents are parenting you, that's fine because they're your parents, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. But once you're the parent, it's almost like. You that that's where you're cut off on me, right? Yeah. You can make a decision for me, but I can make a decision for my child. Yes, and that's where like your jurisdiction ends. Yeah, we're crossing state lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is out of your jurisdiction, yeah. Grandma. Yes. So like that's the thing as well. It's like you need to be making these decisions. Like, let's just say my mom could be like, oh yeah, look, I'll just like let your daughter watch um the Wiggles all the time, yeah. and I can be like, you know what, don't want her to watch the Wiggles so right. much. Just yeah. maybe don't do that. Yeah. You know, because that could just be like, that's my parenting choice yeah, compared it. to like, you know, it's, it's one of those things. And that I think is a choice as well to be like, I don't want to do that for, you know, because of those reasons. At the same time though, I feel like if I was to do that and to sort of shut, shut down an idea like that, I'd feel like the fun police. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, cause everyone's obviously excited cause this is their <laughs> grandchild or whatever it is. Yeah. And you don't want to sort of make it seem like. You're high and mighty, or you've got a particular image. Mm, but it's also it very gross. It's super gross. Yeah. I, 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 I'm all for yeah. I'm all for vulgar humor within context. Yeah. yeah, yeah but when yeah. it's a little kid, yeah, yeah. talking about old. how her dad gave it to her mum. Yeah. Like that <laughs> is me <laughs> far. But that's what the t-shirt says. Yeah. Maybe like well put onesie. a photo of them doing it. On yes. the t-shirt. <laughs> but like, I think for me, I would read that, and then I my immediate thought is like, oh, they did it. Everyone's like you, thinking about that. Yes. Right? It makes you think of how the sausage was made. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Which for is sure. a bad <laughs> thing. You were talking about how long your kid can watch uh, watching Wiggles that type of stuff. Right. Have there been any? 
Has anybody bought anything for your daughter or right. like try to make them watch something where you were like, no, 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 this is too much? No, I don't think I've, anyone's tried to like, influ- not influence her, but like show her anything. And I've been like, I think that's a bad influence. Yeah. I don't think that's been the case just yet. Mm. Um, I'm not sure if, if there would be anything that would really bother me that much. Maybe the clothing thing would be all right, would, would be an issue for me. Would you put your kid in this? No, definitely not. Definitely not. If your mother-in-law got upset, mm, would, you, would you bring I it out? I think I would give enough reasons to, to say, here are my bullet points for why I think it's not <laughs> yeah, a good yeah, idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think, like, realistically, kids, are, like, small kids, there are a, a hundred million cute outfits you can put them in, right? Right. Yeah. Why put something with a, with a grotesque, not grotesque, but why put something with like a it's phrase grotesque. on it? It's, it's grotesque. grotesque. Yeah. Put them in a, in a cute top with a turkey on it or a turkey outfit or yeah. something like yeah. that. There are so many cute seasonal things you can put in kids in, right? Why cut why, the t-shirt, the ones you just say gobble, gobble, yeah, gobble. Yeah, exactly. 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 Why, why go to the X-rated one? Why, yeah. why go yeah, yeah, to yeah. like, you know, what we're, and, going, we're going down that and pathway. And I feel like some people are just like, oh, this is edgy, like, because adults will get it. It's like there's something for the adults and the kid has no idea. It's like when like a kid's movie might have like a bit of an innuendo mm. reference in it. Yes. And it's like, oh, that's that's really edgy. That's for the parents to enjoy. You wouldn't get it yeah. just yet. But, that, but that's 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 the trick of that, yeah? Like, if you put innuendo, you don't want to be like just smacking your face. It's like, be, yeah. yeah, it's got to be like... some subtlety. It's, it's subtlety. Parents yeah, got to enjoy Shrek as much as the kids do, yes. right? Yeah. But I, I don't know if I said this on the podcast before. I wasn't until I was like 20-something that I realised Lord Farquaad was a play on Lord Fuckwad. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I, maybe because I watched it through the eyes of a child and I never thought about it <laughs> outside Farquaad, of that. Yeah. It wasn't until like... I had what, to, was it French or something? That's I was just like on the couch one day. I'm like, Fuckwad, <laughs> what? <laughs> he does look like a Fuckwad. <laughs> That's exactly what I would call him. Um, yeah. I This whole t-shirt, the whole onesie thing is kind of crazy. Yeah. I do wonder if we were hosting this podcast 10 years ago, we were like, <laughs> uh-huh. you know... Bit of fun! We, we were like 19 yeah. and Tom was like 60. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. <laughs> we were, I wonder if it's a maturity thing and, and we obviously had a kid now. Right. I wonder if we'd be like, oh, that's funny. Well, this, the, you know, the parents yeah. that think the stick out of their ass. Probably, I hope we wouldn't be. It's interesting. Like, you just don't know how different you would have, your mind would have been at 10 years ago. Right? Yeah. I just wish there was a dial that's like set on 2020 and I could just turn it as I was yeah. speaking to hear my advice change yeah. as I went. I, I feel like my advice would still say that stay the same. That yeah. one hour. I hope so. My, that one hour that yeah. you could have put her on the kit like that's also it out. in hindsight though yeah that's that is a good hindsight point. but I would have done that like you've thrown it out that's the bad part mm. I do think there is a degree of like if you were to do that you are letting the the turkey terrorists win yeah because this mother-in-law was so upset yep. she left that's and also she, refused, be, she so refused to hold your kid because she was yeah. was not wearing yeah. it that's yeah. too much I that's, don't, you, I don't want to give a, a win to that person yeah. I, yeah I also think you shouldn't be supporting the market that make these terrible <laughs> shows you know what I mean you've already supported that yeah, you've like, already bought, it's already been bought that's the thing like don't like just don't the, the reason why they keep making shirts like this or onesies like this because people, people are obviously buy buying them yeah. they obviously oh, there's a market for it Tom that is a beautiful segue into the game I've prepared for this oh, question oh my god um i figured you know it's been so long since we've all been together yeah it's been a while since i've hosted a game show so yeah. let me get my game show hat and just blow the dust off it yeah <sighs> let's see if it's i remember disappointing. To- he doesn't have a hat guys <laughs> <laughs> i mean i expected to see a hat and there's no hat i mean i'm holding a phone in one hand and the microphone in the other yeah it's unless right. you want me to hold the hat with my sausage <laughs> it's not happening tom <laughs> flicks it onto his head yes um oh, that's how he does all righty so let's see if i can remember how to do this yeah <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the only childproof game show in town, Onesie or Just for Funsie. Hey, the game show where our contestants have to tell us which baby onesie slogans are real and which ones are fake. I'm your host, Childish Bambino. Let's meet our contestants. (laughs) First up, a man whose clothing is all made from father material. It's Tom. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And second is a man that any mum would be honoured to breastfeed. It's Marcus. (laughs) Yes. Yum, yum, yum. He does suck. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. So you guys heard how the show works. I'm going to give you some fake onesie slogans and real onesie slogans. Yep. It's up to you guys to work out which one is real, which one is fake. Are we on a team? No, you are going head to head. I'm hoping nice. our first interaction back together, Tom's going to get a W on the board. Yeah. His first W. His maiden <laughs> His W. His W. His maiden right? W. Um, so, and by the way, if people really like these real slogans, you can Google them, you can buy them if you want to put your babies in them. <laughs> okay. But like Tom said, do not support them. Yeah, yeah, please. All righty. So let's work out who the true baby genius is. Mm. Let's do it. Tom, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Is this, a, uh, is this on a onesie or is it just a funsie? Mm-hmm. Too cute to play with your ugly ass kid. I reckon that's a onesie. 
That is correct. Yes. Oh, good work. Good work. That's a onesie point for me. <laughs> All righty. Marcus, you ready? Yes. My mummy is a MILF. Mum, I'll love forever. <laughs> Mum, I'll love forever. It's cute. It's cute. That is cute. Tom's thinking about getting that for you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>